Well, I'm Moi, Moises or Moisex. I'm from Spain, from Menorca, a little island. I've been in, in the crew in Dynasty for five years or something like that, representing. I do workshops, rock workshops. I try to live the life by dancing and to share with the people what I learned in Brooklyn with King of Rock, Break Easy and the rest of my people. And by my own, my own experience, my, my point of view. And right now, 2013, in Spain we have a, a really strange situation. Then it's one of the reasons I'm traveling more than than ever, and I'm so so happy and and grateful to be in in Warsaw with the guys from here. I start uh, rocking by myself, like many people uh, seeing the rock like in the wrong the wrong way. Uh, between breakdance stuff, you know, popping lucky and breakdancing, everything, just put it together, mix it in TV shows and stuff like that. So just trying by myself. And when I met King Obrock for the first time in France, I started looking at the the, the the Brooklyn way, you know. And by by him, I really started in in funda fundamentals, you know, the foundation of rock. And by, by there, I've been in, in New York. I saved my money, I worked so hard for save it. And I can be there five years ago. And I started uh, learning more from, from Ralph and from Break Easy, like I said. And from other old school pioneers who they, they really inspired me. And they they were talking to me about how they they live it, how they they were you know creating this this style, and not only how, even even why you know, also why, because uh, back in the days they they had you know really bad situations over there with the gangs with. You know the the pure people. You know economy like like uh, you know in many places. But in New York was so nice because many people who who came from different places like Latinos and you know people who really like to dance. They they were together. You know and they create something new and for the the kids and the people who doesn't have anything. You know so. It, it was uh, so interesting for me because when I was young in my little Iceland in Menorca, in Spain, I had a really, really similar situation with my family and when I was young. And to me, it was most of the the creativity was the same because we didn't have any any internet, we didn't have any help from nobody because. We don't have money for that, so we had to create many things, you know. And when I was in Brooklyn and talking about, you know, sharing the the history, I saw it was happening 30 years ago, you know, and 30 years uh, after we we did almost the same in in, in Menorca. You know? First time I, I met King of Rock, it was in a video, Mighty Four. He was doing a showcase, and I was in my house, you know, and I I didn't uh, uh, hear nothing about him, nothing about rock dance or whatever. I just thought like everybody else, uh, rock is just a part of b boy or something like that, you know. And when I saw him, it was clear for me, you know. I saw. That is a real dance, you know. It's and I was thinking about man, that guy, he's he's following more rhythms and and music than many many people that I really like also. But he was in another level, you know, another level of uh, character, you know, moving with the rhythms and you know style and everything. 
and I was in love, you know, with that style because it was like what I tried to do by myself, but of course he was, you know, in another level and I really wanted to, to meet him. So I, I heard his coming to, to France, that it's near Barcelona, and I said, man, that's the only opportunity I can have because it's less money and uh, by there maybe I can I can have the chance to to just see him and learn more you know nothing else and by the way I've been there you know and I met him because he recognized my 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 dance that that was so lucky for me but most lucky for me was he he can spe uh, 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 speak in Spanish you know because he's from Puerto Rico and it was so lucky for me because nowadays my, my English is so bad but back in the days it was <laughs> one of the worst, you know. So yeah, he, he told me, man, you have to come to New York and I help you, I, I teach you more, you know, I, I can uh, help you, you know, meeting uh, old school pioneers and yeah, it was, it was like this. My history with Dynasty is like this. We met, you know, Ralph and me in, in France. After nine months working in a regular job and everything, I saved the money. I came there, you know, to, to New York. I've been with, with them. And, you know, mo most of our, our time there uh, was just, you know, talking with people, you know, meeting them, seeing the, the hip-hop history, it's, it's like, like I said, it was more like I, I thought in, in my own, you know. I thought it's more, more essential and it's not about, you know, winning competitions all the time or to get famous or, or to get, you know, like, something like this. It's just about what you really feel and what you really experience, you know. And of course, learning from other people just to get inspired and to share, you know. And when I've been there, you know, the, um, he was like, man, you have to be, I, I want you to be in Dynasty because you, you really represent this how it is. You know, and it was the first I said is no. <laughs> yeah, the first I said is no because to me being in Dynasty is it's really it's really big, you know. And it was like, man, I'm gonna stay here for one month, uh, one month and a half. So if in one month and a half I do you still you still thinking I'm 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 uh, I have to be there? So I say yes. I was okay, man. And you know I've been there. I practice. I I, I get the second second place in Dynasty anniversary, etc. But you know it was more like a fa family staying. You know we were together. You know living the life. <laughs> Rocking can give you many things, it depends on you, but to me, rocking can liberate yourself. <laughs> because in rock, you can express yourself in many, 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 many ways, you know. You don't need to do something, it's more like you have to feel something first, and after that you do it. Because without feeling, if you if you try to do some burn or something like that, it's gonna look uh, false, you know. To to really do a, a good burn, you have to to trust in him, you know, to trust in what you are doing, and to to have the confidence to do something is not only about practice. It's of course about practice, but it's more about feel it you know it's more about this you know it's it's more about be present in the moment feel it and do it that's it well i recommend rock for every age that's the first why because like i said it doesn't matter the experience you have it's just about be honest with yourself when you are doing it 
if you want to if you want something sometimes it's good but sometimes when you when you just want something you forget about what you are doing so to me for the kids for example it's nice because the kids they are so free they still being so free and I saw kids doing rock and they are so 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 good so funny so good you know you can learn from them so much it's the same for the 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 the, the dads and the mamas you know because it's so different they have different age but sometimes when you get older you you understand the good thing to be a kid you know plus with the experience to be to be you know old and everything so yeah it's about it's about surprise yourself you know if you don't surprise yourself doing something maybe you get bored and you don't do it any, uh, anymore so when when people can meet the rock dance or any kind of any style but rock dance to me is the most particular because what i said you can express in in million million ways uh, when they get uh, surprised with, with with the rock dance it's it's difficult to to live it you know because it's like an exercise for your your state of, of being, you know, your state of mind and after, I don't know, what, if you study in, in the school or university or you are a worker, hard worker, if you rock, man, and you, you know how to, to just live it, you know, uh, put the music and just live, you know, with her. Man, it, it is good for healthy and everybody enjoy it. It doesn't matter the age. Yeah, to surprise yourself, you have to get out the box a little bit, a little bit. If you don't do it uh, a little bit every every time you, you do something, it doesn't matter if it's uh, dance or whatever. Uh, the life is becoming, you know, a little bored and you are doing, you know, routines all the time and, you know, living the life like this can be, can be dangerous, man, because we, we, we start feeling like, man, I don't want to do this anymore, I, I don't want to be here anymore, and it's just because we, we lost the, the kid way. <laughs> play with the things you have you already have because most of the times we are thinking about man I don't have this I don't have that I want this I want that because I don't have it man but what you have and w with what you have how much how, how long you can express how, how long you can play with that and change with the same you know you don't need to be another person you know you have you already have everything everything you you need to be whatever you want it's about um, go in different rhythms with the music so at the same time it's go in different levels of feelings in your your own body so you 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 have to try to re really feel what it's a uh, smooth smooth movement or what is cut it like for example in popping they do so much that's why many people say oh but pop popping is so difficult well it's of course it is but it's about really catch the feeling and how it works well music is the same it's about how you can catch a rhythm and try it, really try it, with your, your own body. So, you can see, and not only with the eyes, you can feel, uh, there is something warmer when you try to do something so, so fast and you need to put the muscles so, um, you know, in different quality. But when you try to do something smooth with another uh, another uh, rhythm, you need to breathe different, you need to feel different, and your body gets into another level in anything. So 
like this, in that way, you can, of course, get more knowledge that if you are only working in one rhythm and in one kind of movement and that's it, you know, because maybe just because somebody says or you think it's the style and I have to do it like this. Well, any style have uh, knowledge before you and have uh, the fundamentals and you have to learn it to uh, look like you are doing that style. Okay, but after that, to so don't get bored, like I said, it's good to know how you can flip it, how you can change it, how you can get more, more better into that stuff. And to me, the key is the music and to feel yourself with the music. You know, it's a relation, it's a really good relation. Okay, I'm Moisex, Dynasty Rockers from Spain. You are watching Each One Teach One and I hope you enjoy it. Peace.